Hello everybody, Yi here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Yo Nesba, the author of the Harry Hule series. Um, it's not Harry Hole, stop snickering like a 12 year old. It's not Harry Hole, it's Hule. Stop, I see y'all, stop. Stop laughing. Poor author. Norwegian man all the way up in Norway writing his books thinking he's doing a good job. And people around here in America, I'm like, here you go. <laughs> what? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today we're talking about, um, on Goodreads it says this is the Oslo sequence, um, which is books three, books four, and books five in the Harry Hule series by Yo Nesba. Um, I'm gonna, I, I'm giving the entire... The, these three books deal with another character named Tom Waller, Whaler, I'm not sure, it's W-A-A-L-E-R, I'm not sure the pronunciation for that one. Um, it deals with him, these three books uh, have a subplot. Uh, each book stands well alone, but you are going to want to hang around for all three of them. So if you're going to start this series, I myself did not start with the first two books. I think it's like The Cockroaches and, or The Cockroach and something else. One happens in Sydney. I think the other one happens in Singapore. I could be wrong. Um, but these happen in Oslo. Um, the first one is terrific. Um, I gave it four stars only because it drug on just, dragged on just a little too long. Um, it jumps back and forth between World War II and modern day Oslo. Uh, fantastic storytelling in this book. I really don't remember too much about the plot. All I, rem I do remember the characters, and that's something that we'll talk about in just a second with the rest of these books. I remember the characters. I don't remember too much about the plot. Um, in my review for the latest one, I said I don't, I don't read Yo Nesba for the plots. I read them for the characters. Um, so, this is the Red Breast. This one, for me, is the best in these three books. The best of these three books. It does go on a little long. I mean, it's 521 pages and it's a thriller. So, that's a little long for... But then again, it's a St Scandinavian crime drama also, so you gotta give it that. Um, next up, we have Nemesis. This is the second... It's... <laughs> it's gonna get confusing. This is the fourth Harry Hule book. And it, but it is the second one in the Oslo sequence. Um, this is the second Tom Whaler Waller. I'm sorry, I wish I knew how to pronounce his name. I couldn't find a, a good pronunciation for it uh, online. Um, Tom Waller, I'm just going to call him Whaler. I'm going to call him Whaler. Uh, Tom Whaler, this is the second time he pops up. Uh, this one, I didn't care all that much for. I think I gave it two stars on Goodreads. It is a good book. Once again, I love the characters, but... Just, I can't remember a single thing about this plot other than the fact that it has to do with bank robberies. Um, and the ending was really convoluted. I think there was like four or five different twists at the end. And that's fine and dandy and whatnot, but, I mean, you gotta stop somewhere. <laughs> Otherwise, like, for sake, would you just get on with the, the, get on with the get along? Okay, finally, I finished this one yesterday. Uh, the Devil's Star, which is the third in the Oslo sequence. It is the fifth Harry Hule novel. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Again, don't don't come for the story. Um, come for the amazing characters, and definitely start with the red breast. Um, by this time, you are emotionally involved with everybody in the story. Uh, even the bad guy gets you know a, a, a sob story. Um, there is there are two plots to each one of these books, though, and one of them one of the plots runs the vein through all three books, but each book stands alone. I think this book has probably the 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 better ending of all of the books. Um, but like I said, I like the Red Breast better. Um, but if if you haven't tried Yo Nesba, I I highly recommend you pick him up. Try the Red Breast first. People tell me don't don't worry about the first two books. Um, and I don't even feel like I've missed anything. He references a, a scene in Sydney that happens in one of the books, but I don't feel like I've missed anything. Anyways, um, have you read them? Do you want to read them? Let me know down there in the comments below. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been a Yo Nesba review, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye